Tomo News presents Space Junk. Experts say mysterious space junk is hurling towards Earth. Millions of pieces of space junk hovered just beyond Earth's atmosphere, vestiges of past space missions over the last century. But for the first time ever, scientists have calculated when and where a piece of space junk will collide with Earth. Scientists say the mysterious space object WT-1190F probably came from part of the rocket body of a previous mission and measures up to six or seven feet long. The object's orbit is highly eccentric, meaning that it's more oval-shaped than most, while on its orbit, WT-1190F reaches distances more than double one lunar distance. The debris will catch fire when it comes into contact with the Earth's atmosphere above the Indian Ocean, and experts estimate that on November 13th, the space debris will crash into the ocean 62 miles off the southern coast of Sri Lanka. All or most of the debris will burn up before it collides with Earth's surface and does any damage. USA Today reports the space object was first seen in 2013 by the Catalina Sky Survey. Scientists say that watching WT-1190F disintegrate in the Earth's atmosphere next month will help them gain a better understanding of what happens to materials in the atmosphere. China to clean up space junk with lasers. From magnets to giant nets, scientists have thought of all sorts of ways to rid the Earth of its space garbage, but leave it to China to come up with the most audacious plan. Earth's orbit is currently cluttered with fragments from old satellites and rocket stages called space debris, which number at least 20,000. Satellites and spacecrafts are frequently at risk of colliding with the fragments and being damaged by even small, pebble-sized pieces. To address this problem, Chinese researchers have proposed launching a satellite-mounted laser that will emit short bursts of infrared light to target small debris. The laser will break down the space debris into tiny, harmless particles and hopefully rid the Earth of its space junk. The plan sounds reasonable enough, but of course, with China, there's no telling if the space laser will actually be for cleaning or be used as a tool for world domination. This is where dead satellites meet their maker. Looking for a good site to dump some space junk? Look no farther than Point Nemo. Nations around the world bring down old spacecraft when possible in the most remote place on Earth called Point Nemo. Smaller satellites burn up in the atmosphere upon re-entry, but larger pieces are able to reach Earth's surface. The spacecraft graveyard is around 1,450 nautical miles away from any land. It lies in the South Pacific in a no-man's land between Australia, New Zealand and South America. This oceanic pole of inaccessibility covers an area around 580 square miles and is home to more than 260 dead spacecraft, mostly Russian. China lost control of its Tiangong-1 space station in March 2016, which is now expected to crash into the Earth by early 2018. Since the Chinese are not in control of the spacecraft, they are currently unsure where pieces of the station will make contact. Experts won't be able to make reliable predictions until days before Tiangong-1 is expected to break up in the atmosphere. Sayonara, space junk! NASA has awarded $50,000 for the development of an innovative new spacecraft that promises to get rid of orbital trash. Space debris in the form of spent rocket parts, old satellites, shrapnel, and other items are accumulating around Earth's orbit, which may make collisions more common. To address this issue, NASA is looking into the Brain Craft, a light 3 foot by 3 foot spacecraft that's thinner than human hair. When deployed, the Braincraft moves toward a piece of debris and wraps itself around the item. It then fires its thrusters and pushes back toward Earth. The spacecraft eventually lowers itself and the debris down to the atmosphere, where both are incinerated. The Braincraft is intended to be light and cheap enough that it can be sacrificed at the end of a cleaning mission. But it may also have other applications beyond just collecting trash. The spacecraft is extremely fuel efficient, making it fully capable of traveling long distances, perhaps to explore and mine asteroids or other space rocks. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency is teaming up with a fission equipment manufacturer to create a net that will clean up space debris in Earth's orbit. It is estimated that 100 million pieces of man-made debris are floating in space. Some 22,000 of that total will measure 10 centimeters or larger, big enough to damage spaceships and satellites. The majority of the debris is found 700 kilometers to 1,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. In February, a wire net made of flexible metal fiber measuring 300 meters long and 30 centimeters wide will be unraveled in space. 
The wire nets will generate a magnetic field that will attract space debris. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency is planning further trials next year. The technology could be deployed as early as 2019. Scientists propose using lasers to clean up space junk. German scientists have proposed using laser pulses to clean up small, irregular shaped space debris. According to NASA, there are nearly 3,000 tons of space debris in the low Earth orbit. Wibble shields protect most spacecraft from debris up to 1 centimeter in diameter. However, debris between 1 and 10 centimeters are particularly dangerous, as they cannot be dodged or blocked. One way to clean up the debris is by using high-energy laser pulses to change the orbit of the debris, leading it to re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. Space debris travel at speeds up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, which is fast enough for a small piece of debris to damage a satellite or a spacecraft. Where is all that space junk? There's lots of crap in space, but we never see it, at least not in images of the Earth. So where is all that space junk? Writing in 2013, NASA reported there was a half a million pieces of space debris floating around Earth. This is a mix of old satellites, rockets, spacecraft, and spacecraft parts. Whenever a spacecraft photographs the entire planet, the image is typically taken from thousands of kilometers away. Space debris aren't visible at this distance. Closer spacecraft also shoot photos of Earth. The International Space Station is around 400 kilometers above the planet, but even at this range, space debris is often minuscule. Much of the debris vary in size, but one of the largest spacecraft near Earth is the ISS. It measures 109 meters at its widest points, while the planet itself is over 12,000 kilometers in diameter, meaning even that is just 0.0008% the size of Earth. So why don't we see space debris in images of Earth? Because the Earth's a planet and space junk is tiny. Space Junk Collector Reaches International Space Station it's about time we start cleaning up our space garbage. A spacecraft designed to collect space garbage, made by several companies in conjunction with the European Space Agency, has arrived at the International Space Station. The removed debris satellite weighs 100 kilograms and is equipped with a 30 centimeter long harpoon that can be shot towards space debris in order to push it away from functioning satellites. It also has a net that can be launched towards objects. After wrapping around the debris, the net can then be cut loose to burn up while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. After being deployed from the ISS, the satellite will first conduct preliminary tests with CubeSats acting as space fragments. Researchers are expected to start testing the spacecraft within the next few weeks. More space junk to fall to Earth. There's a whole lot of junk about to enter Earth's atmospheric trunk. According to Space.com, the rocket body of an Indian Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is expected to fall to Earth around April 3rd. It weighs 907 kilograms. Part of a European Space Agency satellite is also expected to drop to Earth on the same day. Fortune reports that Kazakh spacecraft's Flock 2E3 and 2E6 are expected to plummet to Earth on Wednesday and on Friday this week. Popular Science reports that 200 parts of space debris fell to Earth in 2014 and 400 fell in 2016. Most land in the Pacific Ocean. The only person known to have been hit by falling debris is Lottie Williams. She was walking in a park in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1997 when she was struck by a six-inch chunk of metal traveling at a low speed from behind. Scientists believe it came from a NASA second-stage Delta rocket. International Space Station dodges space debris. The International Space Station shifted its route to avoid colliding with an incoming piece of space junk, NASA officials said on Monday. The maneuver was performed to steer clear of a large piece of debris among the tens of millions orbiting the Earth. The space station can only sustain collisions with fragments below one centimeter in diameter. To dodge a large fragment broken from a 1979 Russian weather satellite, the space station fired its onboard thrusters, raising its orbit by one kilometer. Mission Control says that the position change would not affect a Kazakhstan launch scheduled for next week. A University of Colorado engineer has proposed solving the growing problem of space debris in orbit around Earth by using electrostatic forces. Electrostatic forces occur whenever electrons build up on a surface. 
the geosynchronous Large Debris Reorbiter, or glider craft, would bombard a defunct satellite with electrons, giving it a modest negative charge while itself becoming relatively positive. The charged spacecraft would then tug the satellite to a higher orbit before flinging it away into outer space. The method would only work on the roughly 1,200 objects of space junk in a geostationary orbit above the Earth. Glider could remove roughly three objects a year. The method would not work on objects in a low Earth orbit as the space junk would quickly attract charged plasma particles from the Sun and become neutral. Low Earth orbit space junk could be cleared using other methods. A new space age cleaner is being built to clean up garbage floating in outer space. The Clean Space One is being developed to remove space junk orbiting the Earth. Clean Space One will be launched using an Airbus A300 jetliner. Once in space, the craft will connect to an abandoned satellite before making a kamikaze dive back to Earth. The technology is a proactive approach to future space travel hazards.